Hello friends, um, happy Sunday. I wanted to show you what I worked on last night, which is my um, December daily. Um, I put this together because even though I get the Day in the Life kit from Coco Daisy, I wanted to do something that was already, already to go as of December 1st, because when we, by the time we order our stuff and then get it in, I will have been scrambling. So what I'll be doing is using all of the journaling cards and all the extras to fit into this. So um, I went to my local scrapbook store. I bought papers from the, um, <clears throat> uh, I think it's called Snow and Cocoa line by Crate Paper. Hold on, let me see. Um, it doesn't say which one it is, but I'm pretty sure it was Snow and Cocoa. So whatever their holiday line was, I cut up all of the little cards on it. And then this was a full sheet. This was a full sheet that was like front and back. This was part of a full sheet as well. So I cut three by four cards on all of those sheets. And then I also cut four by six cards as well. And I got two of two and three of each of those. Then there was another one, um, another paper that was by Chamel, and I can't remember which one that was, though I found it in the clearance section, so it must have been from last year. This was from the Snow and Coco. This was a Kaiser Craft. I believe this was out with the things that are right now. I don't believe I found that in the clearance section. Um, so I took all of those, and then I also bought the Simple Stories Holiday Paper Line, um, and I cut those up into the cards because this is how I wanted mine to look so I'm ready to go. Let's see, let's put the snow and cocoa. So I cut up the four by six and the three by fours that came with the, um, see here's here's the three by fours that came with the simple stories. Um, this is a three by four. So there were tons of them, right? So as you can see, I have a ton left over. I already made mine and then I'll have all of this extra stuff. So I'm going to show you what else I'm going to use. So I bought the little um, puff balls that they have. This was from the Target um, Target Dollar section, and these are little deer. And then my mom also bought me Christmas trees as well when she was there. Sorry. Um, I found this over in the Christmas section at my local scrapbook store, so I'm going to use that to stamp with. I bought, let's see, who are these by? It doesn't say. Hmm. I bought these alphas as well because I love to use the alphas. Um, this was more of that snow and cocoa, and I actually cut some of these out. So it, depending on whatever the day is, I can use them. These words are from the Simple Stories. So those are from the Simple Story pages. I use these Doodle Bug, Doodle Pop little birdies, and I'll show you those. This Pink Fresh, these little acrylics came, and this came with my Pink Fresh shipment that um, I had bought when they were doing a warehouse sale. I have these extras that I'm going to use to decorate with as well for me and my big ideas. And then these were in the clearance section last year at my local Joann's, and I'm going to use these. Now, I know that she has these so you can do all the foiling. I don't have the mink machine um, but I bought them for the numbers and because I like the little tags as well. So that, and then I have a little stapler that I bought for my sister, or for my daughter, um, that has the colored staples in it as well. There, there you go, you can see it better. So I keep all of this in a little box. It's in my Planner Society box. And I will be able to just go ahead and dig into this. Um every day to embellish or I'm going to print, I'm going to get one of those Instax printers and I'll be able to print it up, print up pictures and then journal for that day. Then I also bought these rings, these binder rings um, on Amazon as well. We had bought these three inch ones for, um, I use these for my washi tapes, these big ones. And then we also bought these smaller ones as well. I think these were an inch and a half, two inches. I'm not sure. So here is the actual, let me put this away. This is the actual December daily. So here are those little birds that were by Doodlebug. And then I also had some sequin um, stickers that were my daughter that I bought for her scrapbooking. And here's just a quick little flip through of what it looks like. And I'm going to finish up a couple of the things here as well. 
So as you can see, that way I can stuff things in, I can stuff them in, I can write. Um, I used all of the little numbers from the um, Christmas add-on kit. Did I bring it over here? Um, from my Coco Daisy uh, Christmas add-on as well. And I used some of the ink too. So I used as many little scraps as I possibly could. So like here I created a little pocket and then I can also journal on this side. I can open this up here again. Just lots of fun little layering. Um, I'm going to stamp on some of these that I left plain. And what I did is I went through and I numbered all the days. And I have a front and a back for journaling and for pictures. Um, this is the little tag that came in the Holiday Coco Daisy Cup. Um, this one I made a fun little... It goes out. I'd be able to stuff some things in here. And then here's Christmas Eve, which we will be hosting. Um, so I have this page and then I'll have this because I'll have a lot of pictures from that day since we're hosting um, Christmas Eve. And obviously I have three little kids, so I'll have a lot to document. And then getting to the end here, I'll put this one the opposite way. And then this one I used washi tape from the 102 Coco Daisy class. And then I used a lot of just I like to I like the look of the staples as to as opposed to what I, I usually um, use washi tape. And then this is the back page as well. And again, I still need to finish this off because I don't like the way that um, these pieces look here. So what I wanted to do was finish off just a couple of these little details here. So this was one of my pages and I made a tag here and I like using as much of the little embellishments that I have like laying around as I possibly can. And then what I wanted to do here was use this little Snowflake, or was it the other one? Because what day is this? This is just a fourth. So, I am going to, where my scissors at? Alright, sorry. I'm taking apart all of my stuff here. I'm not doing anything fancy. That's for sure. I used the stamp, the um, the ink that I had, and then I had some silver, silver embossing powder, and I just threw that on top. Nothing fancy. And then I will find my glue dots. I usually use my other little roller, but I'm trying to get better about using these glue dots. I have a ton of them. So this will go here. Put that little guy on. And then leave the rest for journaling. So I don't want to fill it up too much with too many embellishments beforehand. I'd like to be able to do some of the embellishments as I'm, let's see, I don't want to do that. Let's see. Okay, so this page, let me take it out to do the stamping. 
Sorry for the noise, that's our garage door. It's really, really, really loud. <laughs> like obnoxiously loud. All right, put that little stamp back over there. And then, let's do, I love this, is like a little wreath. Hopefully it fits on my, Perfect. Can you catch that sheen? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, there's that. Let me go close this up here. Move it to the side. And then, what sentiment do I want to use? Because I have all sorts of cute little... Sorry, I have to clean these while I do it. Otherwise... <laughs> I will forget. And this stamp set was in the Coco Daisy release. It was just this past month as well. And hmm, I'm not sure which one I want to use. Maybe I'll just leave it alone as is for right now until I can. Come up with one and then I'll come up across the center here because oh wait I know what I'll use I'll use my stickers from the catch okay and then oh these are for tabs these are for tabs Bells are ringing. Why is it not coming off? Come on. There we go. Alright, so we'll use bells are ringing. Oh, and these are some other ones too. Be merry to the season. And I love the back of this. The comfort and joy. So I'll be adding this one in there as well. Oh, maybe I'll put that on the back of that other one now that I think about it. Alright, I'm going to put this on a piece of paper. So I'm just going to do this. I'll just put the one for right now. I like that. Bells are ringing. Alright, cover this guy up. And let's see, what else did I want to embellish while I was here? Oh, I know what I was going to do. Okay, so I love the look of things that are stitched. So, we are going to stitch. Kind of. Sort of. bunch of twine like a bunch of twine <laughs> cut 
cut this guy up. I'm not sure what just fell, but that's all right. And I love to just go up and down, just a regular old little pretend you're stitching. And I just love the look that this creates. And they're still setting, so I plan on really utilizing this as much as I possibly can because I think it's nice for my girls to have all these memories right here and like to actually like see what we did those days as opposed to just it being in a photo album. Um, I think that's the part that I like most about all of this documenting is that you just really write about the craziness that was your day that day. <laughs> um, okay, see, done. Easy peasy. Nothing fancy. So I think I'm going to leave this kind of as it is right now. I don't want to do too much, like I said. Um, and then I'll just post some pictures on my Instagram with, I think the hashtag in our group was Coco Daisy December Daily is what one of the gals had came up with. So um, look for that hashtag. And I hope you had fun looking through this and seeing what I'm going to be doing. And I will talk with you all later. Have a great day.